Mike, we're looking at the Blackmagic studio camera here. Now, they built that with a micro four thirds yeah. mount, but a lot of studio cameras need a lot more than a micro four thirds mount. Tell us what this wonderful, innovative solution you've come up with does to let us put what would traditionally be a studio lens on what is a studio camera. Okay, well what we've got here is, is what we call um, the, the B4 Super 16 to Micro Four Thirds. Now we call it Super 16 because the optics inside the adapter were, are optimised for Super 16 or sensors of around about the same size, uh, which this Blackmagic studio camera is. Um, the the clever part about this, this adapter is it, it, it does two things. First, um, the optics in here expands the image from the lens to cover the sensor. So that way you can use your lens uh, with angles of view that you're used to. So in this instance we've got uh, a Canon HJ 11 times, and it's a pretty wide lens and it will still be wide. Um, the second thing that the, that the optics do is um, it corrects for the fact that the camera doesn't have a beam splitter. The B4 lenses generally work with three chip cameras, so optically they're optimised to work in conjunction with the beam splitter inside the camera. So now we've got a camera with no beam splitter, the, the fact that there isn't a beam splitter has to be compensated for. So that's the second thing that this uh, adapter does. And as you can see, the images are pretty good. Even at the wide ends, um, you know, once you've got the lens on there, you simply adjust, make sure your back focus is set as normal. And um, yeah, it's um, it works very well. And um, at the moment, it's, it's a very popular thing that people are looking at. It's very impressive. Now, is there a conversion factor that creeps in because you're putting what's effectively a B4 lens onto the Super 16 size sensor as you described? Uh, well it's not a conversion factor as such because what, what's going on is a little bit unorthodox in that we've got an adapter that's stretching an existing image. So the way to think of it is the angle of view that you normally get with that lens, that is retains. So that's the most practical way of thinking about it really. Well, if the angle of view is retained, that means you get what you expect, exactly. which is fantastic, because more often yeah. than not, we end up with a doubling or a 1.5 times conversion, yeah. and suddenly you don't have the wide and you've got more telly, which you might not need. That's right, yes. So that looks like a really good solution. Yeah, yeah the, the only thing to be aware of is there is uh, some light loss, but it's only about 0.7 of a stop. There's nothing we can do about that. It's the laws of physics. A lot of those B4 lenses are very, very fast anyway. Yes. Yes, uh, and, and with this um, with this particular adapter, you can happily use them wide open with, with no problems. You are the lens master, aren't you? Well, I don't know about that. Lens we do adapter our best. master. <laughs> we do our best. No, but I've spoken to you many times, and you do have a deep understanding of optics, and your adapters are of really good quality. It's what I use, and right. they don't fail. That's I know great. it sounds like a sell, but I'm impressed <laughs> with what you do, and I'm impressed with what I'm seeing there. Okay. Fantastic, Mike. Thank right. you. Thank you.